Welcome, survivors, to Mikey's Gaming Oasis and our Halloween special mod review episode. In this episode, we're going to be going over three mods. Two premium, one free. Uh, one from Sandy underscore double zero, which is a free mod. One from MSVV and one from H&N. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you to Baja for providing me with this video of part of his mod, or rather his build, from Aaron Longstaff's Halloween build competition. While this is just a short idea of what a great job he did, he actually won the competition. If you want to see the full video, go to the link below to see Aaron Longstaff's stream for these builds. Okay, survivors. So I have now put out all of the bits and bobs from MSVV's Halloween mod. This mod is available in the premium app store for $5 at this time. We're going to go through all of it, but first let's take a look of what comes in it. And I must warn you, this one is not a skin, so it is not available on official. So let's get into it. This one right here has all of these mods that all of these items rather that go with it all of these engrams to be able to if you decide to get this and you want to be able to find them in your crafting all you have to do is type in msv and they will all show up right here now there are three special ones here you have a halloween purifying potion you have a halloween poison potion here and you have a uh, Halloween spirit bottle as well. Now, these are unique in the sense that they you can throw them and they have different effects. So, let's get into it. So, first off, you have two massive buildings that you can pull right out of the mod It is of, that it comes with it. You can actually go into them and they're fully set up. It's absolutely beautiful and amazing what they've done with this it is a great look now you can't sleep on the bed and you can you can interact with it a little bit but it's a little creepy at times too then we're going to go to the next one here again you can walk right into it and this one is an abandoned building, as you see, with a fireplace. It has a chem bench, or alchemy bench, as they call it here. You turn it on, you can access it, and you can make all your, all your same things your chem bench does. You have a, a dresser that is a storage container. You have a double oven, which works as your industrial cooker. You have a, another cabinet that you can use for storage. You have a mortars and pestle table. You have a lovely uh, plant dome, which is quite adorable. You have a tech generator. And you have the uh, specimen tank where you can actually drink water out of it and works like a water container. It has a shelf and a spooky door that works with the standard door set. Does not work on the double door or the tall door. Also, back here, if I come over here, it comes with a uh, intake pipes. Now, the other things that come with this are is absolutely amazing. You got a spooky bed. You have a bucket with a, a creepy doll in it. Amazing lawn decor, as you see. Then you have your spell book table. Your potion machine. We go into it, turn it on. It works where you can make the four potions I was just telling you about that we'll dig into a little deeper later. You have a uh, pulpit that works as a smithy. We go into it and all your stuff for this 
particular mod can be made right here. And then they have an assortment of lawn decor. Cauldrons that work as storage, as uh, industrial cookers. You have a coffin, another cabinet. You have a decorative box. You have a pile of bones. You have a creepy, creepy uh, bench. You have a graveyard, of a zombie graveyard that's actually emitting a toxic fume. You have multiple headstones that you can put up. Another uh, coffin with a jack-o'-lantern broken in it. You have this creepy stand with a cross and a goat's head attached to it. You have a jack-o'-lantern pile. Another jack-o'-lantern puking. You have a fabricator right here. You can use to make to fabricate some of the larger items in the this set. As long as you have power, you can turn it on. You have the voodoo doll. You have a large jack-o'-lantern here. You have a pile of jack of pumpkins, a bucket of pumpkins, and a, another lawn decor deck of pumpkins. So let's go over the these. For these three potions here, let me change the set of set time of day here to midnight to get us a better view on these. Here's the purification potion. All it does is purify the area. Then you have your other potion here that gives you this lovely green. And then this one has multiple targets. You can actually scroll through it, players and creatures, creatures only, uh, players only, and winds only. And if you read the description here, it says, When triggered, this bottle will pop open and release an angry spirit. These spirits will target any enemy in range and deal damage and fear to, this, to them at the same time. Extremely inventive. Great additions to the mods and arc, especially just in time for Halloween. I would love to see these in a skin pack later on because there are parts of this that I honestly, I think I would use um, year round in some of my builds. Okay, survivors. So the next one we're looking at is the... H&N Wicked Wardrobe Premium Mod that is available right now in the mod store for $5, just in time for Halloween. We're going to go over each one of these skins one by one. As you can see, I'm wearing one right now, and I also have the Green Lantern attached to the skin that I'm wearing. Gives that creepy blue or green glow. So... Let's get into this. As always, we're going to go into our co custom cosmetics. And we're going to scroll all the way down to these particular skins. These, the HNN skins go from here to here, which is a lot. 24 skins all together in this set. You have one, two, three, four complete costumes. Then you have uh, another four masks. You have a hat, sorry, five masks and a hat. You have bat wings. You have two skins, well, technically three skins for creatures. One for a Pelagornis that turns it into a broomstick. One for a Pterodon that turns it into a broomstick. And then your battle armor for your dodo. You also have that lovely green lantern skin right here that I, that I was wearing in the beginning. Now, the thing is with this lantern skin, you have to have your torch put on your uh, on your toolbar here, your hot bar, to be able to put the skin on it. Now, I do want to find out if, if, if I take this off of here, if that's going to stay on there. It will stay on there once it's been moved to there. And we're going to remove that from my belt to get rid of that light. 
Now, the next thing we're going to look at in this skin, before we get to the masks and the other creatures, is we're going to look at the weapons. So, you have weapon skins. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 weapon skins. Now, these skins will vary on where they attach to. As you see, you have several of them that look exactly the same, but they're not. They're the same visual appearance, but they go on different items. For example, this one goes on your sickle, and this one goes on your pike for your primitive reaper scythe. If you go down to the primitive demon scythe, you have your sickle here, and again, this one goes to your sword. So you need to pay attention to the description on there to determine which side it's going to go on. <clears throat> the other thing is the devil wings. So the devil wings are very interesting, but there is a trick to using them. As you see, I currently have the Primitive Death uh, Grim Reaper uh, skin attached to my person. So I'm going to trade that out, and I am going to show that I have the wings on as well. Now, as you notice, I didn't have to put anything else on there. It's just literally replacing it with that skin which is what I mean by it's a little different. If you have a full skin on for your costume, your wings are not visible. So you need to determine which one you want to do that with. And it replaces your feet, your shoes. Now, to get to our other skins. As you see here, you have a hat. A nice little clown mask, creepy clown mask. You have a bulb dog head, which is awesome, because bulb dogs are so cute. You have a fish hat. You have the demonic jack-o'-lantern hat. And you have a another clown mask. When we get to the full skins, costumes rather, you have the, uh, we'll go into these and deter tell you exactly what they are. You have the Grinner Man costume. You have the Pumpkin Man costume. And then, of course, the one that I'm currently wearing, the Grim Reaper. And the Clown Face costume. On top of that, remember those three skins I told you about for your animals? This is the broomstick for the Pterodon. Your Dodo's battle armor. <laughs> and then, of course, all the way over here, I have the Pelagornis skin as well. Just so you have an idea of what it looks like when we're flying. <laughs> I'm a warlock flying on a broom. Oh. I think these skins came out at just the right time for Halloween. If you want to spruce up your personal appearance or have a little fun with your tames, there they are. Okay, Survivor, so what you have in front of you right now is Sandy underscore double zeros Halloween skin decor mod that is available for free in the mod store just in time for Halloween. So if you want to spook up your build, I highly recommend checking this out. But first, let's go over what it offers. So, this skin comes with only one engram. It's the one you see right here in my hot bar. It's a little jack-o'-lantern, okay? It works on the following pieces. As we go through, I will tell you what it works on and what it gives you. So on the small storage box, it gives you the Grim Reaper with this really, really demonic looking raven and his scythe and a crown. On the bench, it gives you this lovely bench, this lovely uh, almost church pewish bench. On the cook pot, you get two options for cauldrons. You get a small cauldron and a large cauldron. On the, on the walls, you get this stone fence skin, which, honestly, I think I'd use that in a couple of my builds without it being Halloween. 
Uh, the wall torch will give you this lovely torch, and I have no fuel in there, as you see, but it still gives me light. So I might actually use that one out as well, outside of Halloween. Then on the mortise and pestle, you have four options here. And if you're wondering where these green and red glows are coming from, they're coming from these two lanterns. If I change this up a little bit here, and we'll go to the ray, we'll change these all to ravens so that we can see what each lantern does. See, this, the, the glow is gone. We'll go down and you'll get your skull. You have your first lantern that comes up after the, after the skull. You got your default is your skull. Then you have your lantern fog. It gives you this red fog. And then if we go to, if we move this over to the second lantern, which is the lantern steam, it gives you this green fog. So if you place these around your build, it can give you that green hazy look. It's really cool. And of course, the fourth option with your mortise and pestle is the raven that you saw on the uh, reaper earlier. Then you have the standing torch. The standing torch gives you a, uh, a torch and a standing pick. The omnidirectional lights gives you three different uh, size candles. Small, medium, and large. The gravestone gives you three new options for your gravestone. And I believe these are paintable. I'm going to double check, though, just so you guys can see. Let's try all, the ra all of these. Oh, no, I was wrong. Sorry, they are not paintable. The railings gives you a rope wall, uh, a rope um, fence. The simple bed gives you a coffin with a body in it. Your rugs that we can make from aberration gives you two variations of bones of a pile of bones sitting down on the ground. And then your campfire gives you this lovely jack-o'-lantern and will light up as soon as you put some uh, a burnable fuel in there. And then your wind turbines gives you these three creepy looking uh, trees here. So all together for a free Halloween uh, mod, I, I skin, I think it's amazing. Uh, great job, Sandy, and we appreciate your offerings.